All right, so sitting right here, we have the box is looking good, looking very good. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the five different sounds you can make with this squirrel call that might attract the squirrel to you when you have nothing in your property, such as me right now. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JP Review slash randomness. Hope you guys are having a blessed and an amazing day out there. You guys are watching this video. Today we are in the Cheryl Forest. We got another review and maybe a squirrel hunt for you guys if this product really, really works. We are going to be reviewing this squirrel call right here. I saw this in Cabela's when I uh, went to Cabela's the other day and it really caught my eye. I wanted to see does this actually work? Can I call squirrels in my command? and they obey what I say. That's what I wanted to see today. So I picked it up, it was only $11.99. We're gonna put it to the test, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna see what kind of sounds we can make out of it, and in the end of the day, we're gonna see, sit down in one area, see if you can call a squirrel to us, and shoot them down with my Gamo Shadow Whisper. If you wanna see the review I dig on that, you can click the card right up here, but without any further ado, let's jump right into the review. All right, so sitting right here, we have the box is looking good, looking very good. This is a squirrel call, it's easy to use, just shake it. That's what they say, they say you can make realistic barks, chatter, alarm calls, and distress calls. The company is Hunter's Specialties. I've never really heard of it before, but it has a, a decent picture of a squirrel. Packaging is okay. And uh, imitates fox and gray squirrel. And we have plenty of gray squirrels around these pine trees digging for these pine cones so I'm gonna check it out the squirrels have been getting way too smart recently and running away from our property I want to see if I could call them to me it has a bunch of words down here you guys can read that if you want to it has the instructions as well but I'm pretty sure you're here for the video as normal because you don't want to read the instructions so that's what I'm here to save you for let's get this thing unboxed and let's see if we can make some squirrel calls now you guys don't need a knife to open this but for looks I want to use my special new pocket knife I got. I don't even know what company it is. Got it at the flea market. Sweet. Show you guys. I'm just going to slice this thing like so just to keep the box intact. You never know what's going to happen. Get rid of that first time feeling it. Nice little plastic feel in the bottom. It says squirrel call. Feels like a nice finish. Has this. Ooh, 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 ooh. You guys can see there some of the sounds it is making. I don't want to give you guys too much of a hint, but the feel in this is really nice. It feels okay. I mean, I only paid 11 bucks for it. If it brings some squirrels to me and I catch more squirrels, I'm more than happy. But this is my hand. I have somewhat of an average hand, and that's the size of it. It's decently big, great to keep, easy to keep in your pocket, though, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's get to seeing how we can make some good noises out of this and see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the five different sounds you can make with this squirrel call that might attract a squirrel to you when you have nothing in your property, such as me right now. I haven't seen any squirrels in a while. We're gonna try to bring them to my property right now. So first one is the normal way, the regular way to make just normal sounds out of this. First things first, you hold it with the open end like so in your hand and you cover it like this so you can like somewhat change the pitch slightly, opening and closing the hole. Then you put it next to your leg and now you just, you play around with it. You can shake it. Very simple like that. That's the basic way to do it, but there's different calls that can call for different reasons, and I'm gonna show you the next one right now. Next is the high pitched distress call. Now this one I feel like is gonna be the most useful because it calls in the mothers and maybe the fathers of the little baby squirrels because they think that they're giving, the babies are giving away a distress call that they're in danger, but it's actually this in action. And what it is is they have a little whistle somewhere right here. You put it in your mouth and you breathe in and watch the sound it's gonna make. So you breathe in forcibly for more of like an impact and a little less for a slider distress call.
And just like that, you might have a couple squirrels coming to you just to investigate what is going on. That's number two. I feel like that's going to be one of the most effective that we're going to get to try out. And uh, that's one of the most funnest and the most easiest sounds I liked, I liked in this squirrel call was that one right there. So let's move on to the next. Next one is called the bark. Now this one I believe is just for them to locate where each other's at. It's not the most useful, but it's also good just to have in your repertoire of squirrel hunting. So this one you just hold the open end normally and you just tap it like three or four times lightly. And that is called the bark right there. That is used for them to locate each other. And you, someone will get their attention. It's about to go away. You can just go. And they might stop and hold it. So you guys can go boom and shoot them down. So let's move on to the next one, which I believe is called the chatter. So the chatter is simply performed by holding it like this and shaking it. Maybe this one's more for like if they find food or they're gonna see food or some of, of, of eating nature. You could use this one and they might come to you another one. I feel like this one might be a little as effective as the little whistler one because it's like it'll bring squirrels to the area because I guess they're looking for food and if one squirrel says they have food, they're all coming. So you might have three or four squirrels down just by using this squirrel call right there. Just doing that, the chat. So that's the next useful one. Let's move on to the last, I believe, and final one that they have that this one can make. So this one is the alarm call. It's the last one. This is if a squirrel is leaving your area, you don't want to run to him and you want him to come back. You compress this slightly all the way to the bottom and then you let it go. And that gets their attention and maybe their curiosity might cause them to come back to you as a hunter, which is exactly what you guys want. So now you have seen the four calls you could use. You got that one, you got the chatter, you got the little bark, and you got the distress squirrel. You guys can go to the field now, check it out. I'm going to try to situate myself in one place, make some of these sounds, see which one works better, and see if I can get a squirrel to come to me, and uh, I'll film if I do. Let's see if that happens. No way, I was doing the call, and there's the squirrel. Where is he? There he is. No way, we actually had a squirrel come down this area. Now the funny thing is, I went down like maybe 50 feet that way to do the little squirrel call and I did it there for like 10 minutes. After I had shown you guys how to use it here, then I came back here to do some more squirrel calling. Then I saw him coming here where I was and then he ended up going to where I was before showing that that's, he was probably going there because of the sound I was making with this call in that area. So he passed by the both places where I was making the sound. Um, he Then he ended up disappearing because I left and I just so excited that I actually saw a squirrel um, and like on my command now I want to make a follow-up video to this showing you guys does this actually work where I actually sit down in one area with my gun so I see if we can call some squirrels to our area that might be tomorrow morning but maybe next week's video uh, hope you guys enjoy overall thoughts of this so far I just love it I mean it costs nothing to carry it around when I go squirrel hunting anyway so might as well get it it's only 11 bucks of equipment that can be added to your squirrel hunting bag and uh, yeah I can't wait for part two or actually get to see if I can kill some squirrels with this thing hope you guys enjoy if you want to see my previous video don't forget to hit the button at the left if you want to see the video YouTube recommends hit the button at the right and if you want to join JP Nation hit the button at the top. So until next time, this is Josiah signing out.